Fifteen people are behind bars accused of being part of a drug trafficking ring in Indiana. Now, during the investigation, law enforcement seized more than 80 pounds of meth and hundreds of fentanyl pills. Eyewitness News Mike Sullivan tells us how authorities say this is linked to a Mexican cartel. It sounds like a film. Wiretaps, surveillance videos, a six-month investigation into local drug trafficking linked to the cartels. Believe it, this is real. This organization was had connections with the Sinaloa cartel, and as a result, they were moving very uh, large amounts of methamphetamine in the, in the multi-hundred pound uh, capabilities. 18 people were indicted on charges of drug trafficking and money laundering. 13 of them appeared in federal court together this afternoon. Only three are U.S. citizens. That had connections to Seymour, Columbus, Terre Haute, and of course Indianapolis, and even Mexico. Michael Gannon is the assistant special agent in charge with the Indiana DEA. We had to utilize a lot of our resources to identify the, the methods of this organization. During the investigation, they uncovered 82 pounds of meth, 1,750 counterfeit fentanyl pills, 35 grams of fentanyl, a kilogram of cocaine, four pounds of weed, and nine firearms. In DEA laboratories that have analyzed the counterfeit pills have found that four out of every 10 of the pills analyzed had a potential fatal dosage unit. Of the 18 people indicted today, three remain at large. Yesterday, we had a a, a large-scale uh, enforcement operation which resulted in 16 uh, federal search warrants. Before court today, we spoke with a family friend of one of the defendants. She says he was taken into custody when law enforcement raided his home here near 16th and Tremont. We had to rely on a lot of uh, our law enforcement partners. The woman we spoke with said her family was completely blindsided by the raid. Her nephew lives with 31-year-old Eulalo Mario Resura, one of the people charged with drug trafficking. She says officers took her nephew and Mario Resura to a nearby Kroger parking lot for questioning. That's where she says her nephew was later released and not charged. I don't really want to get into the specifics of, of where we got it at certain locations. These defendants come from five countries, including the U.S. There will be detention hearing on May 5th with the U.S. Attorney's Office calling each a flight risk and a danger to the community.